everybody else had been two and two until that one single miss by Hollis Jefferson. Wow. Russell for three. Yes. What a debut for D'Angelo Russell. The energy and the effort, though, by the Wolves defensively. It is palpable. Beasley, Ooh. the attack. How about the communication that time? Five starters for the Raptors have reached double figures. In fact, Toronto also has McCall, Boucher, Brissett, and, uh, and Boucher in double figures. And the Timberwolves a chance to go back in front. It's really difficult for Carl in those ball screen actions if he's going to be back. Russell hits the three. Miles, one for seven, shooting the basketball. D'Angelo Russell, a lefty three. Almost 60% from the floor over the past five games. And he's had some really excellent games as D'Lo gets the hoop in the heart there. How about that out of D'Lo? Looked like he was trying to get a foul call. Miles in the midst of his best offensive stretch in his young career. D'Angelo Russell answers with a three of his own. Took an assist away from Russell, by the way. At one point, he did have eight on the stats monitor. He's only got seven now. He's got 15 points to go along with the seven assists. Russell in his home debut for the Timberwolves. And he drills the three. <laughs> Timberwolves come up with the basketball. Beasley comes up with a slam. Ooh. You run those empty corner wing pick and rolls, and it's tough to guard. Ryan Saunders gets D'Angelo Russell back yeah. on the floor out of the timeout, and he promptly hits a shot. Russell. It's difficult to get off the screen if you don't set one. Oh, D'Angelo kept the dribble alive, finishes with the finger roll. That was ridiculous. Misfires. Timberwolves with the basketball chance to go back in front. Beasley kicks it out. D'Lo for the three. Gets a roll. How about that? Russell again with a low shot clock. This time able to get to the rack and finish. So much room in the painted area. Have you seen a year like this before in your NBA career? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, this is only my fourth year, but I've never seen anything like this. You know, with the injuries, with, with all the trades. He got D'Angelo Russell all the way out here to the sideline. Nice slip by Wancho. Wancho's an excellent slipper. His career high is 22. Timberwolves oh. turn the Celtics over, oh. and man, was that pretty! Oh. The whole thing. Again, Minnesota gets the possession. Lee Beasley forces the turnover there and gets out in transition. Russell this time for three, and he's able to connect. Wow. It's a lot of looks. But when you leave him wide open, you can almost write it down. D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, that's slick right there. Happy to leave the road trip before we get to Miami. Aaron Gomez underneath. Nice find by Russell. Shooting 74% in the restricted area, but a miss that time for Luca. Three by D'Angelo Russell. So far he's on a, he's on a minute restriction, yeah, by the way. So. Six minutes. The plan is for him to play 12. Russell! That going around in the oh. NBA, guys. It, Playing a bunch of nice backup by Jake. And you see the incredible athleticism by Jake Lehman. Their largest deficit of the game, trailing by 22. Russell back on the floor. Beasley. Beasley. Wolves get the stop. Miami has started two of eight from the field. Russell. The Wolves looking to take advantage of Miami's shooting struggles. He's trying to dig in on this end. Timberwolves have been. Pretty sharp offensively to start out. This guy is special. D'Angelo Russell, he's buried a couple of threes. I might be going into territory. You don't know what I'm talking about. Sure I do. D'Lo's going to draw the foul oh, and one. Four-point play opportunity. Because, uh, you know, the great writer for The Athletic, Britt Robson, always looks forward to the Brian Gates halftime interview with Marty Gellner. Well, 
It was fun. While, gonna, it was fun. It was, while it was fun. Well, last B Gates, you're fantastic. And DV. Oh, D-Lo, deep three. <laughs> that was really deep. All the new guys. Well, everybody's a new guy, really. About <laughs> feed. Russell finds Reed. It's an important possession for the Wolves. Russell gets the three away and drains it. <laughs> Oh, that was cold, man. Butler has it taken away by Russell. Beasley in transition and one. So it does it executes beautifully. Jimmy gets to the paint. Unbelievable. Locked. And the ball pulled down by the Wolves. Unbelievable. And then the block here. I mean, Malik Beasley, D'Angelo. And yeah. some of my friends in Dallas told me that, that the big Luca party is actually tonight on South Beach. And, and Jim, the Timberwolves play the Mavs in an afternoon game on Sunday. Russell takes the handoff and drills the three. McLaughlin. Russell didn't waste any time, did he? <laughs> shot, got that shot off in a hurry. Came into the game with 605 shots in which he held the ball for two seconds or less. No, nobody else in the league within 100 shots of that total. Nas Reed. That pass. Play and are absolutely committed to the game. Russell able to keep the basketball alive. Out of the corner. Oh my goodness. How about that shot out of D'Lo? Russell pulls up in the mid-range, and that's a heat check jumper by D'Lo, and the heat is certainly on. By Josh Okoge, the Timberwolves, other than that, are 0 for 11. Beasley out of the corner, finally cracks the seal. You know, this is miss a couple of games when they were back-to-backs. It's a nice finish that time by Russell. Malik Beasley's going to give you defense, he's going to give you transition, easy scoring in, uh, points, and so, and then he's also going to give you three-point shooting. Russell shows off the handle and the shot. Team-point lead again if they get a knockdown three, but it was Curry taking it two, and Mark caught up to him on his drive and blocked it. Now Mark makes a three. Hernan Gomez out of the corner, rattles it in. That's an interesting note of the screen. No players in double figures until now. Russell now 10. D'Lo looking for three. Hits that. His yep. first triple. One of the best I've ever seen. He's been great since he's put on a Timberwolves uniform. Looking for a three. And he has a three. Five quick points here. Both the Timberwolves and Pelicans as Russell able to get around Ingram. To help when D'Angelo Russell on one side and then get back on the other side. Get back to the basketball. Yeah, That's hard to do. Turnover is the ninth of the game for the Pels. And Russell getting back to his strong side. Makes him pay. It'll be 14 points. D'Angelo Russell checks back in. Which on most nights I'd feel Woo. about as Reed gets the dice. Nice. But J-Max played so good tonight. Nice job by Jerry Culver to, to make him reload. Russell for the lead. Go. Minnesota in front. Showing you didn't need to be there. This is what he does. Russell with a nice spin and floater. Creative score, D'Angelo Russell. Move, 10 cent finish. Russell the other way. And maybe that's the sequence that'll get things going here yeah. for Minnesota. Wow, what a pass. Culver Man. makes a count. Jared's three-point shooting has been coming on, yeah. Jim. Full play, extra play kind of plays that, that Josh Akogi gives you. Russell. And the Timberwolves have made four straight triples to come back from 13 down and tie this thing up. Second half, especially the fourth quarter, Minnesota gang rebounded. I always talk about rebounding all five. The guards have had to go rebound as D'Lo knocks down that triple. Markinen couldn't handle the pass. Wolves looking to get it up the floor quickly. Russell behind the back. Beasley for the stuff. That's nice. It's their 10th made triple of the game. 
Lay him in. Set up beautifully by D'Lo. If you're on a really good team and you have this opportunity and you make the most of it, but D'Angelo Russell, that was deep. Najee's sister plays on that team as well. Zeke Najee is also a player at Arizona right now, doing a great job as Malik Beasley gets the back door cut from D'Lo. They find Moore who can't cash it in. Got lucky that time. Layman off the feet from D'Lo. Russell. Oh, D'Lo. Baby. Able to draw the That's foul, the end one. New Orleans their biggest lead. Reed. Russell. Heck of a play. That was. Their team made a mid-range shot. Russell comes up with it. Aaron yeah. Gomez open on the wing for the three, and the Timberwolves draw first blood here in Houston. So focused on stopping the dribble penetration of Russell Westbrook, you lose track of what other people are doing. Russell hits a three. Good to see that go down. Eight points in the paint for Houston so far in this game. Russell with the three. Media going into the locker rooms. That was a foul. Jake Lehman. Your house. I mean, he grabbed Jake Lehman as he was cutting down the lane, but still was able to score. You go with the Georgetown, he goes to the Syracuse. Well, it's hard not to root for <laughs> Jeff Green, though, even if he is a Hoya. He had the heart surgery right. back in 2012 as Russell drills the three. It's one thing to lose to Orlando, that's another thing to be manhandled by the Magic on your home floor. And Tangelo Russell. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Such a difficult time to, you know, to get the bounce to go in. And a lot of times you shoot it that high, it's going to bounce in. Oh, oh, he's got another. <laughs> it again. One of those nights for Malik where it's just, it's just not in sync. But oh, what a spin to get free by Nas, and then he finishes it with the jam and one. Still a lot of time left, yeah. but the Wolves do need some of those stops you mentioned, Jim. You get down 12 against the Rockets with the. There defense right there is a defensive stop. That'll help.